Student Mission Viejo, I'm Michelle. And I'm Veronica, and we're here with KCAL 9 News, reporting live to you today from the tropical dry forest. Man, it's dry here compared to the tropical rainforest. That's because here in the tropical dry forest, the weather is hot and dry year-round. You're right. Let's go to our weatherman, Christian, for an updated, detailed report. Hi, I'm Christian with the weather. This is my friend, Mr. Giraffe. He can't really say how he's just a puppet, but if he could, I'm sure he'd be happy. Temperatures are hot year-round here, but there's a better developed dry season than the tropical rainforest here. Evapotranspiration exceeds precipitation for enough of the year to have a significant effect on the environment. Edaphic conditions may produce the vegetation type in the rainforest zone. The geographic distribution of the tropical dry forest includes parts of Africa, South and Central America, India, Australia, Mexico, and the tropical islands. Soils are essentially like those of the tropical rainforest. They are moderately fertile and hold many plants. The tropical dry forest is filled with many deciduous trees which shed their leaves annually during a particular season. This conserves the trees water. Animal adaptations. With more spaces between trees, larger mammals are more prominent in this environment. There is more seasonality in reproductive cycles, time with rains in most groups. In motile species, migration may occur in the dry seasons to wetter environments, including nearby rainforests, gallery forests, and wet bottomlands. Crocky mate, breaking news! This just in. The high productivity during the rainy season, coupled with relief from rains during the dry season, makes this a favorable environment for humans and domestic stock. So much of the zone has been cleared and developed for pastureland as well as agriculture. Dry forests vary from largely extirpated to still extensive, depending on the geographic region, but in some regions they are more endangered than rainforests. Species diversity is invariably lower than in the nearby tropical rainforest. Environmental stress increases with instability of the environment, and fewer plants and animals can generate homeostatic mechanisms to cope. There is still relatively high diversity on a world scale, but most of the taxonomic groups in the dry forest are less diverse than in the rainforest. Dry forest is important as a habitat for migratory birds in their non-breeding season. Dominant wildlife in the tropical dry forest includes tigers, monkeys, herbivores such as elephants, Indian rhinoceroses, and hog deer. Birds include great pied hornbills, Pied Harriers and spot billed pelicans. Insects such as termites and reptiles such as snakes and monitor lizards. The dominant plants found in the tropical dry forest include tall deciduous trees. They form a dense canopy during the wet season. Drought resistant bromelids and orchids, as well as aloes and other succulents, are found in this biome. Look, it's a watering hole! I think I see a tiger coming! Look at it roaming around in its natural habitat looking for food. If we're lucky, it'll take a sip or lick the water. That's all we have this week. Join us next week with an interview of the star from Man vs. Wild.